Okay, so Pan's banner is currently live, and it's very, very good. Um, you know, it's it's to be expected. This is the Dokkan Fest before Worldwide Celebration, or before the Worldwide Celebration, so they are really trying to get players to summon. So Pan, of course, is very good. Uh, very, very good. I don't really like her, because, uh, again, I've said this countless times, but Neiman Piccolo not getting a Dokkan Fest before Pan is very uh, infuriating. Trunks, uh, but no, she's still very good. Don't get that twisted. She's very, very good. She's looking to be up there with Captain Ginyu. The androids, I don't know, any of those top Dokkan pests. We have then also Trunks and Giru, who definitely seem to lag behind the other side banner units that have released thus far, but they're still a brand new unit. And then the rest of the banner is pretty good. We've got Angel Captain Ginyu who's making his return. Um, so this kind of sucks because he's returning right before the Worldwide Celebration, and he's a very good character to grab. My only thing with Captain Ginyu, though, is that if you don't have the STR Rukum and Guldo or into Jason Berta. It's probably not worth picking him up with your red coin. It's also not worth um, summoning for him. So bear that in mind. We have Agil Trunks, who's very good still. Uh, but, you know, I don't have him. I don't really think you need him. We have Int Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Again, I don't have him. I don't really think you need him, but he's still very good. Remember, though, Tech Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, uh, his EZA in terms of their performance is very similar. So if you don't have this guy, the, the Tech EZA Super Saiyan for Gogeta is a very good like-for-like -like replacement. We then have the GT Super Saiyan, which is funny. I didn't think they'd feature them both on a uh, single Dokkan Fest banner because they're usually featured on dual Dokkan Fest banners. But yeah, they return and they're pretty solid. I mean, I, it, it's funny, right? I mean, I was pretty much calling them unrunnable in the red zone. Uh, but I'd seen a screenshot from Sora on Twitter who used actually GT Super Saiyan Goku on a team next to Pan and he was able to completely demolish that Broly stage. Of course it took a few attempts but yeah, uh, it looks like uh, you know you can actually use these guys and get away with it in the red zone. Um, and that's simply because of how strong Pan is, right? Because remember Pan is able to greatly stack attack essentially on each of her super attacks. A regular super is just a stack of attack but if she gets five, six, seven, eight super attacks off. We're talking, sorry, we're talking about a 100% plus raise of attack. In fact, it's not even 100% because, again, 50% is the greatly stacking. So we're talking like 300, 400% plus. So uh, if you want to summon, I'll say go ahead and summon, right? Because the banner, this is this like one of the best seven featured Dokkan Fest banners? It probably is, right? Seven featured unit Dokkan Fest banners. Yeah, because like Captain Ginyu and Pan are definitively, I said, yeah, but they are definitively like the top within the top three Dokkan Fest TURs right now. And then like the other four are still pretty good. They can serve you in any piece of content. Um, but my, you know, my recommendation is don't, don't summon, don't summon, don't summon. If you're a huge Pan fan, I say summon. Um, I think even if you're a new player, you could probably get away with throwing a few stones in because you guys will have plenty of stones to farm, right? From like ultimate red zones, um, Infinite Dragon Ball history stages, Subaru stages, boss rushes, Dokkan events, story events. And so, like, yes, you can get away with... And the quest mode as well, which now is getting updated. But, yeah, if you're a brand new player, you can afford to do that. I still say avoid summoning. Um, but I can understand why if you are a new player. And then, of course, for the majority of the player base who's not a Pan fan, a Pan stan, uh, Pan is not your favorite character, then, yeah, don't summon... Again, if like, I don't know, if Captain Ginyu is your favorite character, I would say try to pick him up with red coins if you can. I just, I can't, I can't tell people to summon not with the World of Celebration incoming, right? I just think it's, it's almost pretty foolish at this point because the World of Celebration uh, banners typically have a lot of value, right? Dokkan Fest LRs are on them, the, the unit quality is very good as well. And, you know, at this point, the third year anniversary LRs, or well, the fourth year anniversary LRs have easy aids. So I would not be surprised if we get an EZA for Tech LR Vegito Blue and then STR LR Gogeta Blue, right? The 50th year anniversary LRs. But at this point, we'll just move over to the Dokkan event if I can find my Ginyu Force setup. Uh, here they are. Can we find a Tech LR Ginyu? We can, that's pretty good. So let's just hop in. Um, I'm kind of merging this Should You Summon and then Dokkan event video into one. All right, okay. Let's just go towards the key path. Again, this would be pretty easy, right? None of these Dokkan events provide any trouble uh, i just again want to preface this by saying if you're a brand new player always make sure to farm the ginyu force team or the um the bardock team because pretty much they'll get you through any of the difficult content 
to any of the difficult content, but any of the early game content right now. Only thing is, the easy A's could prove to be troublesome because you, of course, will need to complete the easy A areas and then you also need the Bardock team done, so bear that in mind. Alright, so this is what we defeat the first stage of the Pan Dark Knight with ease. Alright, now we're going up against Pan and Giru. Um, hmm, we could keep Raccoon in slot 1 just to build up his guard. In fact, I think I will. Yeah, to build, I said to build up his guard, but to build up his percentage, that's fine. Alright, no AT key for you, which sucks. Also, are you easy aid? I haven't checked. No, okay. The friend LR Ginyu is not easy, but that's fine. I mean, it's it's funny, right? That the, the the Ginyu Force LRs post easy A were like the best free to play LR easy A's, bar none. And now it's like all of a sudden, SDR LR Vegito Blue with his kind of updated easy A and the fact that we can now give him like three thousand defense through skill orbs is. Pretty bonkers, pretty absurd. Just for, you know, even for a free to play unit, I say for a free to play unit, but even for a summonable unit now, he's pretty crazy. Um, can we actually seal, stun, or lower attack? Um, no, we can't. Okay, we can seal them, right? So we'll have a Guldo attack in slot one first. That way, we can just get them sealed. We'll give that to the LR and then Int Captain Ginyu can have those Int keys. Because I myself will probably pick up AGL Captain Ginyu just because I have coins to spare. I also um, have STR Rukum and Guldo. I have Int Jason Birda, but I think just with STR Rukum and Guldo alone, and the fact that the physical Ally Guinea Force is pretty good, and the tech Ally Guinea Force is pretty good as well, that's pretty much all I need, right? And then, like, if I want to, I can use units like uh, the physical Rukum, who is actually pretty solid as long as he's guarding, and then STR Jace is pretty good because of his scout and the fact that he's providing a lot of support to that team, who's already dunking, I said dunking, but already. Um, Covered in support, right? So let's just put Jace in slot one. Can we finish Pan off? I, I think we should be able to finish Pan off before that super attack at the end. But I mean, even if we are, I don't anticipate that to do too much damage. It's crazy though, right? Because remember, we went from like LR Fusion Zamasu, who's actually very good next to the LR Rosa Goku Black and Zamasu Easy A. And then we get like Pan, who's. <laughs> From what I can tell, she's able to solo almost stages, phases, towards the end of an event. And we're talking, we're not talking about like Dokken events or Infinite Dragon Ball History stages or any other stages like that. We're talking about like the Red Zone, which... The Red Zone has so much HP, the enemies have so much defense. It's, it's very... It's like, surely there's like a... Is there a new difficult event coming? Maybe like there's a, an addition of the collection of ep epic battle stages? Because it's like Pan... If she's able to fodderize Red Zone Broly, Red Zone Omega, like, what is that? What is that for, for her to, to for her to accomplish in the game, right? Same thing with LR Fusion's Armasu in the LR EZA for Goku Black and Zamasu. That rotation is pretty crazy as well. Uh, they pretty much demolish any and everything. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, very casual, very easy, no item run for the brand new token event. Uh, we'll just go ahead and shuffling levels. But thank you guys for watching. Again, let me know what you guys think. Uh, will you guys be summoning? I recommend no, don't summon. Uh, even though the banner is looking to be pretty solid. If any of those characters on the featured listing are your favorite, I suppose you can summon. Ideally, you want to pick up red coins, though. Uh, just so you can save your stone for the worldwide. But yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.